it is starting to leak into the Western mainstream media that Iran has effectively flipped its own internet kill switch. Sources report that all access to Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, Gmail and of course Facebook have been blocked by the Iranian government. This is only approximately 24 hours before protests across Iran are to take place against the Iranian government on February 11th to mark the anniversary of Iran's 1979 Islamic Revolution. The Internet is a robust entity, and it may be possible for some more tech-savvy Iranians to access certain parts of the blocked Internet. However this move by the Iranian government will place the overwhelming majority of Iranians under a similar shroud as the North Koreans. The Iranian government's decision to block these key cornerstones of the Internet play directly into Bilderberg's and the New World Order's hands. Any blatant attempt by any government to censor such basic forms of communication will only give excuse for military intervention. Granted, it is the prerogative of any sovereign nation to conduct its own affairs. The past ten years have been a clear example that this is no longer the case. Instead of Iran becoming more transparent in its dealings with the world, it is becoming more reclusive, a move that will only exacerbate its relations with the rest of the world. It is said that the Israelis are being put into a position that, by the end of this spring, they may be forced to take military action against Iran. This is due to the fact that after this spring, an Israeli attack on Iranian nuclear sites will have a much less dramatic effect once the Iranian nuclear technology reaches a certain point in its development. An attack on Iran would be the next major step towards a one-world government. The global population is sick of war. One final global conflict is all that is needed to push everyone to the brink to push everyone towards a one-world government under the false promise of no more war. This plan has been in place for hundreds of years, and its origins can be traced back as far as the Egyptians, to today's inbred British monarchy, the Rothschilds, and the Rockefellers' quest of a global population dedicated to serving elites under a veiled form of slavery. Cows bang their heads on the sides of their stalls, because they spent most of their life in a confined space. In these situations, cows' milk and meat become sour and tough. The cows become less productive for their owners. Farmers then made the choice to release the cows into free pastures. The cows perform better whilst not in confined captivity, however they still serve the same purpose in the end. This analogy follows precisely for the plan of the New World Order. While it may seem that the people of the world have free will and inalienable and undeniable rights, the banks and the elites keep the global population under their thumbs by keeping them in debt under the veil of the developing global police state.